Fresh take on the beloved musical, Fiddler on the Roof, now playing on Broadway. And our executive producer, Amy Cohen, spoke to the team behind this latest production. You might recognize this marquee. Fiddler on the Roof has had a long history on Broadway, and now it's back again for the sixth time. It's a show about tradition and also one that's become a tradition. Fiddler on the Roof first opened on Broadway in 1964. For many, the songs are familiar. For musical theater lovers, it's musical theater mother's milk. You know, you hear the songs and your heart melts. It hits an emotional place inside of you that you never, that you forgot about. If I were a rich man, Broadway vet Danny Burstein plays Tevya, a poor milkman struggling to build a brighter future for his daughters while trying to hold on to their customs from the past. Everybody brings back Fiddler because it's an important show. It's important that every generation sees this show. Um, it raises many, many questions about uh, bigotry, about love, about family, uh, about strength, about breaking of traditions. Young people break away from their parents. It's a thing that happens. It's a thing that's universal. This show captures all of that and brings it to the forefront in a beautiful, entertaining way and uh, in a way that actually helps you think and transform your way of thinking while making you laugh and cry at the same time. The story is set in 1905. Russia was ruled by a czar and Jews faced growing restrictions and attacks. Director Bartlett Schur explains, it was a moment in history that's still relevant today. I was very struck as I was doing research for the show that in the last year has been the largest refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. And watching all that footage of people in the train stations in Budapest and coming across Europe and looking for homes after being driven out of there, it just resonated very profoundly with me trying to do a show like Fiddle on the Roof where a family is displaced and has to go find somewhere else to live and bring its traditions and its culture with them. Sure hopes the challenges these characters face strike a nerve with audiences of all backgrounds. I think it's also helpful with this show as specific culturally as Fiddler to find where it reaches into other cultures and to where it's as connected to a, a Muslim family coming from Syria as it is a family coming from the shtetl as it is somebody in Somalia who's been driven out by civil war that you feel it on a larger scale. To us and our good fortune, be happy. The lyrics that help bring these songs to life are the work of Sheldon Harnick. He says breaking down barriers was always the goal. I remember seeing the show at the Actors Fund when the, the audience was filled with actors. I was standing at the back of the house and at the intermission, Florence Henderson saw me and raced up the aisle and said, Sheldon, this is about my Irish grandmother. And I thought, then we've succeeded. Now, more than 50 years after Harnick's work first debuted on Broadway, the music and the message reaching a whole new audience. And the tradition lives on. Amy Cohen, Fox 5 News.